Aloha, good morning, afternoon, and evening. This is Master Paul coming at you live today, December 19, 2017. I am coming at you from Master Shaw's Tao Healing Center here uh, against the bookshelf where there are many of Master Shaw's books. I'll be using one of these today <clears throat> to serve you. I'll be using the book called Soul Over Matter. And um, today I'll be focusing on the sixth of the ten das in the series called Ten Days of Ten Das. And if you just tuned in and you missed uh, some of the value uh, of before of the people that have, uh, excuse me, of the wisdom that was shared before, Da I Da Kuan Chu Da Sebei, greatest love, greatest forgiveness, greatest compassion. Each day uh, last week was just loaded with some very, very potent, valuable information. And so I encourage you, if you haven't seen it and you're just tuning in, to after you watch this today, to go back and watch it. You can do that by, um, by being a friend if you're not already and then subscribing. And then you'll be notified of when I go live again. And then just go back on my timeline and you'll see the previous wisdom and teachings. <clears throat> today we're focusing on the sixth da, which is da he she. And that is a Mandarin Chinese word that means the greatest harmony, greatest harmony. So the greatest harmony is something that is not that easily uh, experienced. How much harmony do you have in your life? How much angst, strife, anger, resentment? How much emotions uh, are you having in your life that are not harmonious? <clears throat> so the greatest harmony is actually something that is a tremendous attribute or a tremendous quality to work towards. And we're going to be discussing that today. So all those that have just tuned in, I encourage you to please uh, stick around and join me and enjoy this with me. So I'm working off a computer today, not a normal computer. And so I am trying to figure out how to scroll through uh, those who have tuned in. Because it may or may not let me scroll. Here we go. Good. <clears throat> okay, so welcome Lisa Zarniak, welcome Savannah, aloha Sharon Dodd, and welcome Janice Crosby, welcome Monica, aloha Kristen Rojas, welcome Vanessa, and welcome also to Erica Rimmer, welcome Ferdy Cruz, welcome Misha Patel, uh, aloha Carol Federico, welcome Christy Barlow, and aloha also Karina Sather Frey. Coming in from Norway, long way. Good to see you here. Welcome, Ago Renate. Thank you for coming in. And welcome also, Pat. Aloha, uh, Sharon Dodd. <coughs> and Ago is also coming in from Norway. Wow, I'm so happy I can reach uh, so many beautiful hearts that far away. Welcome, Janice. Welcome also to um, Weba, Diana Victoria. And welcome, uh, and Chrissy says she's coming in from Angier, North Carolina. Beautiful. Love to see where everybody's from. It's always fun to uh, to know where people's home base is. Welcome also Dylan Basu. So I just uh, completed a practice, a service, on Master Shaw's chanting channel. If you haven't discovered that yet, it's a little gem that I hope to make a lot more discoverable as I move forward. And it's at tv.drsha.com. And it's an ongoing 24-7 service that Master Shah, um, uh, basically, he put aside quite a bit of money for. And it's just, it's underviewed and underappreciated. There's so much wisdom on this 24-7 channel. There's constant recordings. There's people that come on live, like I just completed a live teaching there uh, 10 minutes ago. And uh, it constantly has things going on with it. And uh, within a few weeks, it'll go through a major facelift, and it'll be that much more valuable it's a place you can go and place requests for blessings, complimentary. But uh, make sure that you offer gratitude. It's a place to say thank you on there. Uh, never ask for something uh, without offering gratitude also. Okay, But it's a great source of information. And Krista, knowing her, is probably on top of placing that link. Uh, it's called tv.drsha.com. So welcome, Larissa. Yes, Larissa's coming in from the land of Oz. So thank you, everyone, for joining. Today, as you know, we're focusing on day six of the ten 
days of Tam Das. The previous five days focused on the greatest love, the greatest forgiveness, the greatest compassion, and the greatest light. Yesterday, we focused on the greatest humility, which was a very powerful teaching. In essence, I, I pointed out how humility is a word not used near enough, humbleness. More often, the word used is ego, and uh, it's used in a judgmental manner in many cases. So in order to integrate and uh, activate the greatest humility in our lives, then we want to follow the wisdom that was shared yesterday. I won't go into repeating that, but you can go back and watch that if you would like to. <coughs> Welcome, Missy Dot. Aloha. So let us go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul, while we, a few more people gather. <clears throat> we'll place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. We'll drop the left hand in front of the heart center. The right hand gently remains pointed towards heaven. And we connect fully. <clears throat> let us close our eyes, become fully present as much as possible. I know many of you are multitasking and doing other things, but try to be present as possible. And I will invite in the beings of light and connect us. <clears throat> so dear our beloved spiritual creator, the divine Tao source, creator of all life, we love you and we respect you. We ask most humbly, most sincerely for your presence today. Dear our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, we love you and we respect you. Deeply appreciate your unconditional service to our soul journeys. We ask you to please be present for each of the individual souls you are responsible for. To the soul of all angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifus, saints, all Buddhas, all bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Namo Amitofu, beloved Kuan Yin, and all beings of light, including stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, beloved Mother Earth. We love you all, honor you all, respect you all, and I bow my head to each of you. I ask most humbly, most sincerely, for your presence as appropriate. We thank you from our heart and soul for all that you do for us, for your guidance and your wisdom. <coughs> we thank Master Shah, and the soul of the Ten Das, the soul of the Ten Da Mantras, and all the wisdom in the Soul Over Matter book to please be present today, to borrow my mouth, allow me to serve each and every one that watches and that listens, to bring these great ten qualities into our life in a far higher level than we currently do. I am extremely, extremely grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hong, hong, hong. <clears throat> Dear the source, soul song of love, peace, and harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes, we love you, honor you, appreciate you. Please turn off. We invite all souls in all universes to chant the source, soul song of love, peace, harmony with us, to offer this unconditional service, and to connect us heart to heart, soul to soul. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So please join together. Anybody new, this is a mantra. This is also a healing and blessing tool. Kristen Rojas uh, usually posts both the mantra and how to learn more information in her chats. So please uh, look for anything she posts. Let us all chant together. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. La，哈利路啦，路啦哈利路啦，我爱我仙儿哩，我爱他让人累，我宁让儿母受伤，相爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, 
and harmony, love, peace, and harmony. <clears throat> Just stay connected, keep your eyes closed. Let us offer gratitude at this time. We've invited in all the holy beings. Let us offer them gratitude. Dear our beloved creator, dear God, Tao Source, dear my individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, I love you. I thank you. You give unconditionally. You never complain. You save my life. You protect me. You give me blessings. And most of the time I am unaware. But I probably would not be here if it wasn't for all that you have done for me. I wish to take this moment to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dear beloved Jesus, Mother Mary, dear beloved Buddha, Kuan Yin, angels, archangels, all the beings of light serving, please forgive me for not acknowledging you more. Please forgive me for not being more grateful and appreciative. Please forgive me for not being more aware of your invisible and unconditional love and service. I humbly ask for blessings for more awareness and reminders to be more grateful. <clears throat> thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, doesn't that feel good to just connect in that gratitude? One of the things about the human world and the soul world is that in the human world, unless we have taken the time to practice at very high levels and awaken the latent um, communication faculties that are available to us, each and every one of us have the ability to see heaven, to hear heaven, to speak to heaven, to know heaven. We all have the ability to literally be in alignment with heaven and walk hand in hand with the angels and the Jesuses and the Buddhas and all of them. All of us have that ability, but we are very much stuck and mired, <clears throat> uh, mired down, weighed down in this third dimensional frequency, in this third dimensional dogma, in this third dimensional uh, life in which we get stuck in our relationships and we get stuck in our financial blockages and we get stuck in our pain and we get stuck in our health issues and we get stuck with our mind blockages and our negativities and we get stuck because we fail to recognize that we are constantly and forever within Tao Source Light and Tao Source Light is constantly and forever within us the fourth of the ten dots. We fail to constantly walk through life with gratitude. We fail to recognize that we are not alone which is what today is about working in harmony. We fail to recognize that every time we uh, defend or or um, move towards revenge or speak out or try to gather attention dressing up for attention putting on overabundant amounts of makeup for attention uh, yelling out loud for attention putting posts on Facebook for attention all of these are a lack of humility all of these are all indicative of one specific thing separation from source period there is there is nothing else why else would we be doing these things we're all crying for attention we're all crying for the love that we have been separate from since we came into this physical manifestation the ten das and the purpose of the ten das is to assist us in a manageable in a easy to apply manner to bring these into our life every day in our thoughts words and actions to be the ten dawes in our thoughts words and actions and in doing that in our everyday life we naturally 
naturally wean away the negativity. Naturally pull off, peel back, and permanently remove the uh, mindsets, attitudes, beliefs that are not serving us. We naturally move towards selflessness instead of selfishness. We naturally move away from the suffering that this life holds us into this uh, third dimensional experience in. We cannot move higher on our journey in towards health and happiness if we don't have a pathway or something to apply to accomplish that. If you do the same things you've always done, you're going to get the same results. That's the message of insanity. So why would you do the same things you've always done if it hasn't brought you what you're really wanting, which most likely is health and happiness? So what are the 10 DAS for? They are to bring us health and happiness. The first of these 10 DAS was to bring us towards this one now, which is the greatest harmony. I'm going to pause a second. Welcome, uh, Christine Nicole. <clears throat> Welcome, Kathy Arnold. Welcome, uh, Marie Crispy. Welcome, Robin Toth. Aloha, Adelia. Uh, welcome also to Shelly Patricia. Johnny. Welcome, Johnny. And welcome, Jermaine Hensel. Welcome, Christine, uh, Christina Thorson and Anjali Flauta. Lisa Capola. Welcome, Aloha. And welcome, Linda Ortiz. <coughs> Uh, Carla, I think I've acknowledged you, but if not, welcome. Welcome, Danta. Uh, and if anybody else I missed you, forgive me. The greatest harmony is about recognizing we cannot do it by ourselves. Recognizing that in our thoughts, in our words, and in our actions, we can have a very positive impact just by a positive thought we can change the feel and the frequency in a given room. Just by a positive thought, we can change 20 people in that room. That's how powerful a positive thought is, substantially more powerful than a negative thought. Just by a positive word, we can save somebody's life. One word, we can save somebody's life. Just by a positive action, we can accomplish that and more. What can happen if we do it in harmony and what can happen if we bring this harmony to a situation because we have ego because we have a selfish heart because we can't forgive them because we want to be right these are a lack of harmony and if your life has an inharmonious nature in your health if you have a lack of harmony in your relationship or relationships, if you have a lack of harmony in your finances, if you have a lack of harmony in any area of your life, then you need no longer look this way. You need to look this way because it is inside where the lack of harmony originates. It could be karmic in nature. It could be something we're creating in this life experience. It could be something that's, that's uh, following us from behind and we need to capture it, uh, capture the essence of it, and dissolve it using the ten das. What does that mean, dissolve it? What does that mean, capture it? Okay, let's say there's a lack of harmony in your health. Okay, We all have some form of a health issue. A few exceptions to that. <clears throat> and so with these health issues, uh, there is a lack of harmony. Maybe it's our hearts, maybe it's our lungs, maybe it's our legs. There's a lack of harmony there. What created that lack of harmony? It could be karmic in nature. We or our ancestors may have brought harm or suffering to others for their legs or for their hearts, etc. <clears throat> so we don't need to necessarily know what the source is, but we do need to recognize that it didn't come from the outside. And if somebody hits you with their car and it hurt your legs, and you say, yeah, but I was hit by a car, and they're the ones that caused it. Okay, well, you can sit there and point outside of you, but it still didn't create any harmony for you, did it? Your legs still hurt? Okay, so you have to solve it from the inside. And you do that by asking forgiveness and offering forgiveness. The second of the ten da's, the greatest forgiveness. See, when we apply these ten da's in our life, 
They create harmony. They create the harmony that we need <clears throat> to create the greatest benefits in our life. And if we refuse to make that shift, well, we're going to have a problem, Houston. We're going to stay at the point of disharmony, and we're going to be in, in a pain in this case. And maybe it relates to pain, same thing. Yeah, but how can I be in a harmonious relationship with someone that did this, and this, and this, and this, and this to me? We're not saying stay in that relationship. We're saying move away from it if it's unpleasant for you. But is it creating disharmony in any other relationships you have because you can't let go of that one because you're holding on to resentment? Is it creating disharmony in your health? Because you're holding on to anger and resentment. Therefore, your liver and your wood element are negatively impacted. Is it creating disharmony in your heart where you're feeling depressed or anxious about finding somebody else because you don't want to have that same kind of thing happen again? Again, you have to apply the greatest love, the greatest forgiveness and compassion. You have to uh, employ the wisdoms that are released in the order they're released <clears throat> so that you can have this harmony in your life. So this harmony is rarely, if ever, uh, something that is fixable on the outside. Now, sometimes you step into a disharmonious environment where there are you know, 15, 20, 30, 100 people, <clears throat> and it's just a not a pleasant or harmonious environment. So you say, well, what can I do? Well, you have uh, you have some of the greatest tools brought to humanity at your doorstep inside of you, and all you have to do is remember them and activate them. What do I mean? <clears throat> you have the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony. I have listened to – I haven't had the opportunity because, fortunately, I haven't been in, in a harmonious environment where I've had, needed the opportunity, but I have heard at least five completely different people and five completely different stories – stating that when they were in an inharmonious environment, they asked the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony to turn on, and they asked that soul of love, peace, and harmony to turn on in all of those people, and silently they just sat there and they chanted love, peace, and harmony. In one case, a person witnessed somebody yelling at, it's probably a spouse, I wasn't sure, but it was, it was in a very embarrassing kind of scenario where they were at like a parking lot or at a you know, at an intersection or something like that, and there was one person overpowering over the other, just yelling, 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 and it was quite a belittling scene. And she felt hopeless and helpless, but she remembered this, so she asked Lucky Harmony to offer them a blessing as appropriate. She did not ask herself to do it. She asked the song to do it. Big difference. And she started chanting, and she said it was amazing. She said within one minute, the, it, the, the, the calmness came, and the separation occurred, and it just, it just went its own way. Uh, one, one of the masters here was on a bus, and uh, there was a, uh, a person who was psychologically imbalanced on the bus. And they started to get in the face of another person <clears throat> for illogical reasons. And so she, she asked the soul of love, peace, and harmony to turn on, on in this soul. And she asked him to turn on in herself, and she also asked in, in heaven, she says, what does he need to hear? And heaven explained to her what this man's brain was thinking, and she said, sir, please forgive her. She did not mean to harm you in the way that you are thinking. And he stopped, and he looked at her, and he, he, he was dumbfounded. And then she said, uh, just give it a few minutes, sir. Just relax and see, see if it's okay. And so she was chanting love, peace, and harmony the whole time. We have the power to bring harmony to very unpleasant situations. We are servants to humanity. If you're watching, if you're tuned in, you have two things going on. One, you want to make a difference to help other people in this life. Two, you want to stop your own suffering. Maybe not in that order. Maybe you just come in because you're suffering and, and this makes you feel better. That's great. Happy to serve. But you must remember that the greatest service is that when you do this for others, because as soon as you help uplift somebody out of their pain, then you naturally get yourself uplifted out of yours. This is the wisdom. So the greatest harmony is sharing what makes others happier and healthier with others. It could be this song as an example. So when we uh, bring harmony 
not only into those around us, but into our life through acknowledgement, through activation of the ten da's, we have the greatest propensity of health and happiness. Now I'm going to read you Master Shah's wisdom from his book that I've been using the last couple of days. It's called Soul Over Matter. For those that are new to this, let me see if anyone's new. Welcome Angie. Welcome Lisa Coppola. Welcome um, Linda Martinez. Welcome Crystal. And welcome Magdalene. And so I don't think anybody is new here. There may or may not be, but just so you know, this book is for financial blessings. It's a uh, mind over matter and soul over matter combined. Master Shah uh, teamed up with this gentleman, Adam Markell, who is a uh, mind over matter financial guru, and he taught Adam a higher level of mind over matter. He taught him that heal things at the level of soul first, and the mind and body will follow. So in here, Master Shah teaches about Da He She. Da He She is the sixth of the ten Da mantras. It is Mandarin Chinese, and uh, He She means harmony. Da He She means the greatest harmony. The four sacred phrases that go with this mantra are Yu Da He She San Ren Tong Xin Qi Li Duan Jin Cheng Gong Mi Zhou What do they mean? Lu Da He She means the sixth of the ten da's is the greatest harmony. <clears throat> Lu is the number six. Da is greatest. Hashe, the sixth of the greatest da's. Uh, San Ren Tong Shin. That's the second line. San Ren Tong Shin. San is the number three. If you look at uh, E-R San, E-R San. E is number one, R is number two, San is number three, Mandarin Chinese. Ren, for those that are a little more seasoned Master Shaw students, he talks about human, earth, heaven, Tao. Master Shaw's all of his wisdom, all of his teachings is about how do we get back home the fastest with the least pain and suffering? How do we raise our frequencies uh, to the greatest layers of love, light, and more? the easiest, the fastest, the best. When he brought the wisdom of Ren Di Tian Dao, he is saying, raise our frequencies from the human. Become a human saint, like a Mother Teresa. How did Mother Teresa become a human saint? She got offered unconditional love. She offered the greatest forgiveness. She offered the greatest compassion. You hear stories of nuns and very special people going into uh, war zones, going into major disease zones, and serving others unconditionally with a very high purity of heart, and not getting leper's disease, not getting Ebola, not getting these other diseases. The brain says, how is that possible? It's very simple. It's right here. They carried the frequency of God's love. The frequency of God's compassion. They knew that it was up to the source. If source wanted to take them back, okay. Then they understood that that was what was going to happen. But they weren't going to let that stop them from their unconditional service and unconditional compassion. So these people survived because their frequency disallowed the lower frequencies and the lower vibrations of these viruses and diseases. It simply couldn't go over the mountain of the higher frequencies that they carried. You have to understand, this is science. This is, not, this is not just me talking. This is scientifically validated. There's a, uh, I'm going off a little tangent here, but there's a book called um, uh, The Journey to the West. <clears throat> and, um, excuse me, that's not it. It's um, something about the Ascended Masters. I'll remember the full title in a minute. <sighs> And in there, these regular folks were walking with very enlightened masters. And a lot of people will read this and they'll just say it's fiction. It's just total garbage. 
possible? I don't think so. So in this, what, what was written as a truthful document, uh, one of the people walked through fire with two enlightened beings. And after he came to the other side, he was shocked, of course, and he's like, how is this possible? I believe you guys can do it, but how is it possible I went through it? I don't get that. And what they explained to him is, oh, it's very simple. All we did is we raised our frequencies to be at a level where the fire's frequency could not touch us. For them, that's all it is. This is a scientifically validated statement. So when you hear the words San Ren Tong Shin, which translates to when three gather together, that's the whole statement, three gather together, you can cut gold is the next line. What is it saying? When we work in harmony, you can do anything. When these three souls walked through the fire, they were able to accomplish that without any difficulty. They were able to raise their frequencies together. They worked in harmony. San Ren Tong Shin. Ren Di Tian Dao. I went off on that tangent for a moment. We are always in the process of raising our frequencies. Master Shah teaches us, raise our frequencies first to the highest human level, like our Mother Teresa, then to Mother Earth frequency. Mother Earth is on her way to a heavenly frequency. Heavenly frequencies are on their way to source creator frequencies. And so we are all on this path of elevating our awakening and our awareness, moving upwards and onwards in this, in this uh, awakening process. The ten das are step by step removing the negativity, removing the selfishness, removing those things that inhibit us from being in the Tao light and the Tao light being in us. Da, uh, ten da number four. And in being in Tao light, Tao light being in us, we can be free of ego, therefore we can serve with others and cut gold. The third line of this mantra is Qi Qi Li Duan Jin. And it means combined strength can cut gold. Combined strength can cut gold. When three gather together, combined strength can cut gold. San Ren Tong Shin Qi Li Duan Jin. When three gather together, combined strength can cut gold. How beautiful, how powerful. Does it, what does it mean, cut gold? Do you think that's literal? Do you think it, that Master Shah is saying, hey, go get three people, go find a piece of gold and cut it. You can do it. I don't think so. Every word, every phrase that Master Shah uses, its purpose is to capture Deep essence. The Mandarin Chinese words that Master Shaw uses, the, when a Mandarin Chinese speaker reads them, they often do not understand. They have to actually really rack their brain to go into a deep understanding because he uses the very high educated level Mandarin Chinese, where one word has two sentences behind it that capture a massive essence. <clears throat> so he might say four words, four syllable words, Ren Di Tian Dao. But what is the message behind it? It's the entire enlightenment message. Ren Di Tian Dao literally is the path to enlightenment. But people don't get it. It's just four words. Same thing with any of these words. So when you chant the Ten Da mantras, what in essence are you accomplishing? You are accomplishing the removal of the Shen Qi Jing blockages that inhibit us to reach the highest layers of enlightenment. They are literally clearing our karma in the chanting of them. Do you get it? The fourth of the this line is is Chong Gong Mi Jo. Give me a moment. Welcome, Tradigio. Welcome, Candy Cornette. Welcome, Karina. Welcome, uh, Laryl Lee. And welcome, Julie Abbott. <clears throat> Thank you, Kristen, for posting the words in your chat box. So, all together, 
What do these four mantras say? I will sing all, all of them to you and then give you the English translation, then we'll practice together. <clears throat> so this is the sixth of the ten da mantras. Luda Hushye San Rin Tong Shi San Rin Tong Shin Chi Li Duan Jin Chung Gong Mi Jo. I have to sing it again because I actually sang it in the wrong tone. Okay. Lu Lu Da Hushye San Ren Tong Shin Chi Li Duan Jin Chung Gong Mi Jo. So what does it mean? The sixth of the ten da mantras is greatest harmony. When three gather together as one, you can cut gold. The last line is, it is the secret to success. Everybody wants to know what's the secret to success. You have the jewel right here. The one sentence secret to success is to gather together gather together three souls all on the same path work in harmony serve unconditionally forgive move forward in harmony and then you will have success now does that mean you're going to be successful in your business no it means you'll have success in overcoming that health concern you'll have the greatest propensity of success earning a little more income. You'll have the greatest propensity of success resolving relationship problems and so forth. It is the activation and harmonious nature that we sometimes, uh, and I'll speak for myself, that I don't always employ that keep us in a place of disharmony. And so let us chant together a couple of rounds. <clears throat> this is also a blessing because I have received transmissions and treasures to serve you with my voice. I have Dao Song Dao Dance treasures. And also, the words themselves carry extraordinarily high frequency. I just gave you examples of what that means. And so know for a fact that when chanting it, you are definitely receiving blessings. If you want to chant along, find the words, go to Kristen Rojas' posts, and it's pinned to the top, and uh, <clears throat> you can chant along, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and chant the sixth. It sounds different than the others because the mantra five and the mantra six are, are different when you combine them than all of the others. So that's okay. We're just going to chant it the way it's supposed to be. And then I will come back and chant all of them to serve you. <clears throat> oh, oh. Lu Liu, Lu Da Hu Shi San Ren Tong Shin Chi Li Duan Jin Chong Gong Mi Jo Excuse me Lu Da Hu Shi San Ren Tong Shin Chi Li Duan Jin Chung Gong Mi Jo Again Lu Da He She San Ren Tong Shin Chi Li San Ren Tong Shin Chi Li Duan Jin Chung Gong Mi Jo. So, uh, Kristen, would you please put the uh, mantra from the fifth da yesterday and the sixth da together? Because we need to chant these together so that people understand the, uh, the fluctuation differential. I will continue to chant. You may chant with me if you like. Lu da he she 
，三人同心，气力壮健，成功密度。One more time， 六大和谐，三人同心。气力壮健，成功密度。What does it mean? The sixth of the ten da mantras is the greatest harmony. When three gather together as one, they can cut gold. This is how you have the greatest success. This is the total meaning of this sixth of the ten da mantras. <clears throat> I'm welcome, Kathy Schneider, and thank you, Kristen, for posting. Now, so again, look at Kristen's new post. She has penned five and six together. Okay, and we will chant this、uh, together. <clears throat> so、um, I'll wait just one moment. Make sure you find it. Wu da qian bei ro ro bu zhang qi shu jin jin shi qian bei die wang zhang lu da he xie san. 人同心，其乐的万金，穷共弥足。I think that's correct. <laughs> Let's see if I can find Master Shah chanting here. I'll put it up to the microphone. And、uh, you guys can hear Master Shah chant from the beginning. Here you go. Hope you can hear it. 二大宽恕，我原谅你，你原谅我，相爱平安和谐，三大慈悲。Beautiful, huh? Hopefully, you heard it. 
I'm, I put the phone up to where I think the microphone is on the laptop. I wasn't sure if I got it in the right location. So you can let me know. So let's go ahead and continue to chant. Welcome, Nelson. Okay. If you don't know how to chant or you don't want to follow the words, you just want to listen and receive the blessings, that's okay. This again is for the greatest humility and the greatest harmony together because their mantra is a little bit different. Starting with greatest humility. Buddha Chen Be Roro Bo Chang Chi Shu Jin Jin Shu Chen Be Wang Chang you da hu she san ren tong shin chi li duan jin chang gong mi jo again wu da chen be ro ro bu Chang Chi Shu Jing Jin again Chi Shu Jing Jin Shu Chen Be Die Wan Jang Yu Da Yu Da He She San Ren Tong Shin Chi Li Duan Jin Chang Gong Mi Jo So obviously tough and it's even more tough when you read the manager's word and it doesn't look like it sounds. So it takes a while to practice. Uh, if she hasn't already, I'm sure Kristen will post the uh, the YouTube video where Master Shaw chants just these ten lines. Listen to that, and you will receive huge blessings. Because when he opens his mouth, you're receiving blessings. When he's chanting this particular mantras, it's receiving huge blessings. So uh, definitely tune into that. So now I will chant all seven lines for you. I will turn on my healing treasures. Uh, and offer you a blessing with that as a gratitude for your presence today. <clears throat> you can make a request for whatever you'd like. Always make the request as appropriate. The healing treasure is turned on. <clears throat> Blessings as appropriate. Blessing begin. Yi shi da ai wu tiao jian ai rong hua zai nan xin xing shan ming ar da kuan xu wo yuan liang ni Ni Wan Liang Wo Shang Ai Ping An He She San Da Su Be Yuan Li Zheng Chong Fu Wu Zhong Shang Gong De Wu Liang Su Da Guang Ming Wo Zai Dao Guang Chong Dao Guang Wo Zai Chong Tong Chi To Ming Wu Da Chen Be Ro Ro Bu Chang Chi Shu Jing Jin Shi Qian Be Die Wang Jiang Lu Da He She 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, healing treasure return. <clears throat> you are very, very blessed. Okay, welcome also to Heather. <clears throat> and so I hope that uh, you enjoy chanting these 10 da's and learning about these 10 da's. Uh, each time I share the wisdom from these books, I get more insights and more wisdom on them. Um, I myself am making personal dedications and personal vows to employ these more in my life, specifically in my thoughts, words, and actions, to truly be more unconditional, to truly be uh, more forgiving, to be more compassionate, to, to recognize the Tao light is always around me, and I'm always inside of Tao light, uh, to, to really activate um, humility and to do the best I can to have zero ego and incorporating uh, harmony. You know, what am I doing that in any way, shape, or form might be bringing disharmony? Uh, so I encourage you to also, you know, do your own internal vows and consider what can I do uh, this week? You know, I'll work on the first of the 10 da's to be a more unconditionally loving person towards self and towards others. And that's your only focus for that first week. In the second week, you focus on uh, forgiveness. And in this way, you basically, you retrain your brain and you retrain the automatic karmic patterns that tend to rule our life and cause us to um, kick into default responses, reactions, and things that create karma. We don't want to be that default person. We, all, we want to change, but it does require us to be conscious and present. It does require us to make efforts to accomplish what we want to accomplish. So my encouragement to you is to learn more. I also want to let you know that these, um, these ten da, they are uh, in the form of these calligraphies. And on the back of each of these calligraphies, is an explanation. So on the back of Da I, it gives you an explanation. Da means, I'm trying to get the right light, Da means greatest. Uh, I means love. And then you have chanting on the back of it. On the front is a calligraphy. <clears throat> and these literally are healing instruments. Uh, people don't have enough comprehension. If they had enough comprehension, they would run over uh, to Honolulu and get these. Um, so if there is interest in these, I just put this out because you can learn, you can clear your blockages. When you, you get these, you can get one or all ten of them, and you trace them like this with your hand, and you chant, da I, da I, it's listed on the back here. You're literally clearing your love blockages. If you have love blockages, you need da I. You got forgiveness blockages, you need that. And so you can get any one of these ten da cards. They're $50 each. And um, you have to pay a little bit for postage, whatever it is. If it's in the States, it's, you know, 50 cents. If it's out of the States, it's a little bit more. But uh, these 10 dot cards are amazing, amazing, amazing. And um, you can get them. In the past, they have been $100 each. Okay, I tell you that because that's true. People have paid $100 each for these. <clears throat> and so if you can get them for $50 each, you need to... Step up to the plate because they're very, 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 very uh, priceless. People just don't have enough comprehension how priceless these are. You could literally, if it was a difficult time when your children was sick, you pull out one of these cards, you start tracing for your son. After 30 minutes, you check in. Their fever is broke. They're doing better. That's how powerful these are. You can use them for your financing. Tomorrow is greatest flourishing. You could get the Da Chang Shang greatest flourishing card and, and trace for your finances. So... Uh, get all 10 for 500 or get one by one, $50 each. They're available. Just let me know. You can contact me through my email, uh, asoulhealer at yahoo.com. Uh, you can also uh, connect with me um, through Facebook Messenger, of course. I'm happy to serve you in either way. So I love you, love you, love you. Come back tomorrow when we go in the seventh da, da 
Chang Sheng, the greatest flourishing. Everybody would like more financial blessings. That's what tomorrow is about. Uh, it's also about what you do with those blessings. And I will be here to serve you at that time. Thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing. And I will see you then. Bye-bye, everybody.